comes from the Hallel Psalms, and I know not everybody is saying hallelujah to the idea of staying at home all the time uh, between now and uh, whenever this um, situation ends, but we, David and I thought we would mark our staying at home as a sacred act. Um, by staying at home, you are saving a life. Maybe that's your life. Maybe it's the life of someone you love. Uh, or maybe it's the life of someone you don't even know. Um, and a home becomes a mikdash me'at, a small sacred place, through the ritual of affixing a mezuzah to the doorway. This mitzvah derives from the words of the Shema, which is written on the cloth, the scroll that goes inside the mezuzah. You shall inscribe the Torah's words and teachings on the doorposts of your home and on your gates. Through mezuzah, the home becomes a place not of confinement so much, but of sanctuary. So we're singing a little Hallel today. Oh, Ki ani tani vatehi lihi lishua Eben masu abonim Aita lavosh pina The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone, the psalm says. The home that we've spent so little time in as we've worked to build our livelihoods has now become the cornerstone of our lives. Um, so we may as well commit along with the people we live with to ensure that over the coming months that home remains a place of safety and protection and peace. That means giving our family members space, respecting each other's boundaries, taking time out for fun and silliness, getting enough sunlight and vitamin D to keep our spirits up, it's super important, and remembering that this is a temporary situation and remembering that even in the most difficult of moments, the Jewish principle of shalom bayit, peace in the home, must prevail. The mezuzah is our symbol of shalom bayit. Uh, we're taught that the sages Hillel and Shammai disagreed as to whether the mezuzah should go on the door frame uh, vertically like this or horizontally like this. One sage said this way and the other said this way. And we nowadays hang the mezuzah diagonally pointing inward toward the room or towards the inside of the house. We hang it diagonally to symbolize the compromise that was made between this way and this way um, to show that it's important that the home should be a place where we make compromises so that we can all live together in peace and preserve shalom bayit, peace in the home, especially when we are spending so much time together. Uh, so the mezuzah will hang in a moment. It points inwards toward the room. You roll the cloth, the scroll that goes inside it, you roll it from left to right. I know you can't see this, but you roll it from left to right this way, and you should be able to see that it says Shaddai. That's one of the names for God. You should be able to see that it says that on the outside, and then you'll place it in your box, in the box, the mezuzah box. And then you'll affix that to the wall. And it's okay if you're in an apartment to use blue tack. That's what we're going to do. Um, and we already have one on our entryway to our house. So we're not going to say shehechianu. But if you're hanging one for the first time, you might want to say shehechianu. And um, I also just want to take this moment to invite you to our um, communal mezuzah hanging, which will take place uh, just maybe a week or so after Pesach. Um, we'll do it by Zoom. Everyone will hang a mezuzah together. And those for whom it's the first mezuzah they've hung uh, will 
say Shehechi Anu together with them, and it'll just be really celebratory. I'm looking forward to that, sharing that moment with you all. We'll begin by reading the Shema. The mezuzah contains the first two paragraphs of the Shema. We'll read the first one. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha V'chol levavcha v'chol nafshecha U'v'chol me'odecha V'hayu hadvarim ha'ele Asher anochi mitzvatcha hayom alvavecha Vishinanta mulanecha, vidivarta bam, vishivtecha bavetecha, uvlechtecha vaderech, uvshach becha uvkumecha, uksharton le ot al yadecha, vihayulatotafod bain enecha, uktavtam al mezuzod bait hecha, uvisharecha. And then place the cloth inside the scroll. And then now we're going to go say the blessing by the door frame because you want to hang the mezuzah, you want to affix the mezuzah uh, as soon after you say the blessing as possible. So I'm here with David and we're at the uh, doorway to one of our rooms in our house and we're about to affix the mezuzah to the door frame. And this is one, by the way, that you can see it's got a little violin on it. That's because I used to play the fiddle when we lived in Nashville. This used to be on the back door to our home in Nashville. We want to just encourage you to join in our communal mezuzah hanging, which will take place by Zoom shortly after Pesach. So if you don't have a mezuzah already, you might want to just go online and order one and order the cloth that goes inside. Uh, if you need help or you want to consult about it, just give me a ring or Rabbi Misha and uh, we will help you along so that you're ready for the communal mezuzah hanging. And uh, with that, we will say our blessing, which is Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kitshanu Lemitzvotav Vitzivanu Likboa Mezuzah. Amen. Pitchuli Sharei Tzedek Avovam Odea Open the gates of righteousness for me that I may enter them and thank God. It's the right thing to do to stay home right now, and we know it's hard, um, but perhaps with this sacred act of affixing the mezuzah to our doorways, we will remember every day to give thanks to God for our health and our life. 